right. Morning. I brought you a cup of tea. Not bad, that, bro. Cheers, pal. Sugar, mate. Yeah, good. Right. Fascinating. Old working men's building. Brilliant, isn't it? Still got the old bar in the back. Great we have a pint later on. Pint of pizza. <laughs> Do you have some breakfast? Yeah. Great breakfast, that, to be fair. Full English, not bad. <laughs> that was the academy, far nicer than the first team building. But you've stayed at the old worker men's club. Yeah, it just sits better with us, doesn't it? It sits better with me as well. When you buy a player, Sander Berg's at the latest, do you bring him to the worker men, no. men's club first? <laughs> or to Bramall Lane? We always meet the players at the, uh, the ground about four o'clock. You know, sun's going down and the lights are on and, uh, <laughs> and then the players go, whereabouts is the training ground? I go, oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> Sander, Hi. how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice. Lots of clubs in Europe linked to you, but why Sheffield United? Oh, it's a package of many things. Uh, of course, the coach, the way they've played this season, uh, many reasons that they wanted to to, to play me a lot and of course that uh, it's a place to develop and of course the coach believe in me. The scrutiny now under yourself, you know, with pundits, basic style of football, direct football, dinosaur management, you know, how have you found the, the scrutiny on you? Gives you a bit of an edge, doesn't it, sometimes, just to prove people wrong. You can never be comfortable um, in terms of what you've achieved and there's always something to go and achieve and, and the next hurdle to get over. So. Yeah, a couple of those bits and pieces do get pinned up on the wall. Really? Yeah, why not? Yeah. So I think it's 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 not an issue uh, in sometimes reminding the players what other people might think of them and uh, just adds a little bit to, to us gaining the, the best performances from, from those players. I've put a couple of bits up here, look. <laughs> They've changed into second. <laughs> it's just lazy, isn't it? It's lazy and they've not really watched. We have a unique way of playing and uh, it suits this club. We was at Northampton, we had a Christmas do, obviously in Sheffield, because we both, both live here. And then Chris decides we want to go and watch Sheffield United on the Christmas do. Yeah, right, good do that, <laughs> isn't it? And we're watching the game, and oh my God, it was so boring. We had a chat about it after, and went, it's just not how Sheffield United is. It's attacking football, two strikers. It's a working class city, and uh, want it to be a working class team, didn't you? You know, yeah. the culture. Yeah. Want that to be reflected on the pitch. As a person, what's he like? I'm going to say he's pretty genuine. If you ask him a question, <laughs> expect an honest answer back and doesn't try to be anything other than what he is. He's an old school manager but has moved with the times which you have to do and uh, the, the old school things that we've still got at this club is uh, is why we are like this as a group. And um... Running Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> You're running today, I believe. Yeah, it's, not, it's not a nice day today. Well, let's escape, go do some running. Cheers. <laughs> Top, cheers. Do you let them manage their dressing room? Well, definitely, yeah. I mean, we've, we've obviously set the temperature of the green out, so to say, but off they go and they're all, all different characters in there. Uh, and he'll get barked at Ollie McBurney because look at him, that's, that's a run round the outside of the training ground <laughs> and he's managed just to run round the centre circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he all right? No. Because he might be injured. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I thought he was injured then. <laughs> He'll be getting barked out in about five minutes. Listen, uh, mate, thanks for having me. Absolute pleasure. I'll see you someday, and hopefully, mate, after the game, two points behind Chelsea in fifth place. Yeah, that'll do. We've got the best fridge in the Premier League as well, yeah. so we'll empty that on Sunday afternoon. Take care, mate.